you you know you went on the road with the team last week. Can you just um, talk about maybe kind of sum up what you what you saw in those two losses? Should should people be worried, or is it still a generally good feeling around the team? You should definitely definitely not be worried because the season is a process. You know, you go through your bumps in the road. And, you know, even last year we lost to Fresno. At Fresno, we lost to Nevada. At Nevada, then Utah State. We lost those last two games pretty bad. So we just just come out swinging. You know, you go through stressful situations to, you know, cause a reaction to see what you're going to do from it. And, you know, we're going to come out swinging. You know, we got a great tech, great opportunity, great challenge against Utah State, and we're just going to give it our best shot. You know? I want to ask you about that, but um, I asked Coach last night, to tell me why NMSU is still a WAC tournament title team, and I kind of want to ask you the same thing. Tell me, tell me why they're a championship team. Because if you look our roster from the from the starters to the bench, we have the most talent in the WAC. We just have to we just have to put it together. You know, everybody everybody on the team, everybody got the same goals in mind, individually and team. We just got to come together and put it. Put it at the right time before it's too late. Okay. We just got to come together, do the little things, and, and we should be all right. You know? Don't push the panic button. How big is home? I, I mean, are we thinking about it too much because, like you said, you were on the road? I mean, you guys are a pretty good road uh, home team this year. So. Yeah. You know, on the road, you know, we playing against team and their environment. You know, they sleep in their bed. They sleep. They, we're playing on the, on the floor that they practice in every day. So it's – it's second nature. They're going to be comfortable, and you know we just we just got caught slipping, you know. But, okay. but our home, our home. After losing those two games, we just want, we got to come out. We got to come out swinging. You know, we just got to come out and play play our hardest. Tell me about the uh, the Facebook thing and the what led to all this. Uh, I guess you taking part in the pajama promotion thing tomorrow. You know, like people forget that. You know, we're student athletes as well, you know, so, like, if I can, you know, communicate with the student body, you know, why, why not? You know, they see, they see me, they see me playing, they see me in the newspaper, but, you know, it's, it'd be great to show them that I'm a, I'm a student as well, and, I, you know, I like, I like to have fun, too. What exactly is it in, involved tomorrow? You were talking about it earlier. Uh, I'm gonna wear my pajamas before the game. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want this situation to be like, oh, I'm trying to, you know, gain all the attention, and distract the attention from the game. You know, I'm just gonna have fun with the students before the game, and I'm gonna go back and get dressed for the for the real game. You know, because okay. still focus. What do you think of the pan ammunition uh, that's kind of developed over the last, I guess, two months or so? Uh, I think I think it's great. I think it's like it's like a cheat sheet. You know, for the <laughs> It's like a cheat sheet for the students, you know, give them all the information about the opposing players and, you know, what they what they up to. So, you know, it's it's a cheat sheet for the students, you know, to, you know, play their part, play their part in the winning. So, because we all do it together, you know. All right, man.